Demand shifting is the strategy of moving workloads to regions or times when resources are constrained. Demand shaping is a similar strategy, but instead of moving uh, demand to a different region or time where there are enough resources, we shape our demand to match existing supply. If the supply that we're talking about is electricity, then whatever renewable energy is available right now, we change our application so that's all it uses. It's a really subtle concept, but I think a really interesting one and leads to some really amazing ideas for architects and designers. A great example of this is video conferencing. Rather than streaming at the highest quality possible at all times, when bandwidth is low, when this resource is constrained, they often shape the demand by reducing the video quality and prioritizing audio instead. Another example of this is progressive enhancement for the web. The web experience improves depending on the resources and bandwidth available to end, the end user's device. And this whole thing is linked to this broader concept in sustainability, which is all about reducing consumption. We can achieve a lot by being more efficient with resources, but at some point, we're just going to have to consume less. As sustainable software engineers, to be carbon efficient means perhaps at times when the carbon intensity is high, instead of moving a workload to another less carbon intensive region, we just cancel it. We reduce the demands of our application and the expectations of our end users for a bit. That's why the seventh principle of sustainable software engineering is demand shaping. Instead of shaping supply to match demand, try shaping demand to match supply.